is Adam Lanza's mother, who sadly was killed by him today. Why did she need to have yeah. these three weapons? Can I just follow up on the Australia? No, no, thing? I want you to answer this. Because why did she? Why did she need to have these three weapons legally purchased, including this semi-automatic Bushmaster? Why would a, a woman? Yeah teacher at a kindergarten need these weapons in her home, um, okay. allowing, therefore, well, a clearly deranged son right. to take them and commit this atrocity. You know, whatever that gun looks like, it's a semi-automatic rifle. Any hunting rifle, just about, is a semi-automatic rifle. Just because it looks different on the outside doesn't mean it functions differently. But he fired, off, want... he fired off over 100 rounds in several minutes Look. with this apparently harmless Assault Look, rifle. Nobody said guns were harmless. Guns make it easy. You just to try to make up. It's just a. Mm. It's just an average old gun. Look, he fired. Explain to me over why a hundred rounds. Yeah. And he killed twenty children. Right. It's twenty horrible. children. Look where it five happened. Five and ten. At what Excuse point me. do you gun lobby guys say we get it? It's time for change. Right. It is time. We have. Look time these, to do what? Is to get rid of some of these gun laws Which that ones? cause the get gun, rid of the gun zones. Laws. Look what's happened. All these attacks this year have occurred where guns are banned. Okay? Well, look at the Aurora movie theater shooting. There were seven what movies. What the hell has that got to do with this? The point. Seriously. Gonna, it, what has that got to do with it? Well, you never let me explain. Do you think he would. You think can he I say, say something? Was a gun free zone? Look. Look at the Aurora movie theater one, for example. There were seven movie theaters showing the Batman movie within a 20 minute drive of, of where the killer lived. Only one of those banned guns. He didn't go to the movie theater closest to his home. He didn't go to the movie theater with the largest screen. Yes, he to went to the one to movie this. theater that banned guns. Now, if you if you look at bans generally, you can't point to a place, you know, Chicago, D.C., where we ban guns. Murder rates, violent crimes went up afterwards. In the U.K., in, J in Jamaica, Ireland, island nations that have banned guns, you can't find a place where murder rates have actually gone down. They've gone up usually by you large cannot, amounts. You cannot find a place. Okay. It, it, let, it, me, it, let, me, let me bring in Danny. First of all, I mean, basically every statistic that John Lott just cited is pure bunk in terms of the the, the fact that um, more gun guns zones? equals no, there that's true. They were gun-free zones, but all attributing them, that to, but attributing that to the fact that this violence occurred, I that's where and that's where I have to step in which, because listen, my brother was shot in a shooting on top of the Empire State Building, which was incredibly chaotic. I know firsthand. I've talked with the victims from the Aurora tragedy and all these tragedies to a person. Person, they all say if there were another person there that were armed, it would have undoubtedly led to more carnage. There's, There's going to be a guess. Excuse me. Let me. I let you talk. Let, 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 let me finish. Let, let, me, let, let, let me finish. In every one of these cases, they say if there were more guns, there it would have only led to more chaos. Look at the recent Empire State Building shooting here in New York, where the, there were highly trained law enforcement officers in the chaos. There were eight other people shot, and every one of them was an innocent civilian, and every one of them was shot by let one me, of these law enforcement. Let me bring a seat Let me bring a seat down here. He's the attorney for the Michigan Coalition of Responsible Gun Owners. You believe, Mr. Dillon, believe that there should be more guns in schools. Is that right? Well, I believe that those of us who are licensed to carry are responsible people uh, shouldn't be prohibited from carrying in schools or other places. Uh, in fact, uh, the Michigan legislature just passed a bill last night and sent to the governor for signature a bill that would allow those of us who are licensed to take one more day of training, including range time, and then actually be able to carry in the places where we couldn't carry before. Why on earth would you want more guns in schools after what's happened today? Here's why, Piers. Uh, if we could suddenly make all guns disappear, I'd have a different position. But I spend a lot of time thinking about this and, and reading about it. I teach a class at the law school level called Gun Control Seminar. And, and I get a new group of law students every term, and we discuss this in detail. And the simple facts are guns exist. They are essentially 1800s technology. Even some automatics came into being in the late 1800s. They're, they're easy to make. They're not going anywhere. They last several human lifetimes with minimal maintenance. So since guns exist, and we know for a fact that the only way to stop an evil person like the person you were discussing earlier in the show is to shoot him no, or is he to on, shoot himself. Hang on. This is exactly the argument that I've been hearing ever since I've joined CNN. I joined about a, on air about a week after Gabby Giffords, a congresswoman, was shot in the head. 
Right? Ever since then, we've had the Sikh temple, the Aurora incident, we had the shopping mall last week, guy downstairs shot in the head from our New York bureau, and so on and so on and so on. And the argument I keep hearing is, well, if everybody else was armed, it wouldn't happen. It's a load of total hogwash, isn't it? No. If everyone had been armed at that movie theatre, twice well, as many people isn't. would have been killed in the, in the mayhem than the erupted. The give an example the of the where pudding. people have the stopped these attacks the and their bystanders have been hit. You can't give me one example where a bystander has been hit by a permit holder. The Empire State Building. Empire State Building. Where a permit holder. Can I just... proof of the pudding You don't see mass shootings at gun shows Other than the United States, they have reasonable gun control laws and... They, they have a hundred people a year, not 9,000 or 10,000 a year it's killed higher, by guns. Japan, guys, listen, Japan, and, uh, but it was adopted, lower before Japan gun control adopted there. strong gun control laws. And almost zero And, 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 well, and the homicide rate plummeted. But the point is, the gun Britain, control Britain, didn't Britain, change it. In but, Scotland, in Dunblane, in 1996, there was a very similar school shooting. Right. A, a, just an awful situation. Sixteen young children killed exactly uh, as they were today. You know what the two of the and they, as a result of this, they brought in a handgun ban. 162 thousand handguns were handed in. Right? It is time for and murder amnesty. rates listen, went listen, up. Listen, listen, it was an amnesty in Australia. Murder well. rates went up. There are about 35 murders no, a year high, in Britain. But it was more for another there reason. There are nearly 12,000 murders a year from guns in this country. The point is, when are you guys going to focus on that? But it stop telling me but the answer is more guns. No, it is not the answer. Look, listen, listen, it listen. Was I was than it was after the ban. It was higher than it was before the ban. So you want more guns, not less? I'm saying 300 million guns when in America you ban, isn't enough for when you. you ban guns how many more kids law, have to die before you guys you, say look, we want less guns not more I'm Pierce, upset I want about to tell you this he very, asked me a question I want to tell you let him answer the question I'm upset because I worry that the gun control laws that you're pushing have killed people Oh, what when a you, of nonsense. Look, yeah. you have to explain. Nonsense. An average of 35 yeah. killings from guns in Britain a year. No, in a place that banned handguns. But Here, it was lower no before they guns. had the gun 12, control 12,000 people a year die from gun murders. Look, look there, there are lots of differences there across the country. Can I, can I, totally you, you have to can understand. Can I please have the opportunity to say one thing without screaming? I mean, yeah, there is. I'm sorry, but <laughs> no, I, I want the... I just need to... I've been debating this all week. Uh, following the Bob Costas thing, yeah. the shopping mall and so on, following Aurora. I've been debating it for months, if not two years. Yeah. I'm so frustrated, I'm so furious but that these yes, kids yes. have been blown away again with legally acquired weapons. But you Some boy who's got problems takes his mother's three weapons, including this ridiculous assault rifle, and goes into school and kills his kids. And you guys on the gun lobby still want to tell me the answer is more guns. Look, I mean, it's madness. But where is White? Yes, sir. How right, else can you stop someone about. from shooting people? Yeah, if, you don't, if you could let the congressman speak. What you ought to be most angry about is that every poll shows that by massive majorities, Americans agree with what you just said. Right. And yet we have a lobby, the leadership of the NRA, who function as enablers of mass murder. And that's what they are. They're enablers of mass murder because they terrify the class Absolutely of political people. And even though, even though polling shows that most NRA members would support reasonable gun controls, that every time someone proposes it, they come in, they lie, they say they'll take your guns away, and they stop any kind of legislation nobody, to prevent nobody that. Nobody outside of the military and the Let's police talk force about in this country enabling. needs one of these in their lives. So we, we need, nobody, we need the end of story. I have to be able to say something. Criminal screaming. I would. Listen, the encouraging thing, and what you should hopefully take inspiration, because we're all frustrated, we're all outraged, is this conversation and what these guys are saying does not represent what the American public wants. It does not represent the conversation that the American public wants to have. We're all in favor of things like criminal background checks. Seventy-four percent of NRA members are. 40% of all gun sales don't require a background check. That's something that we all and agree not, on. And, and there are and things that we can and it's do. Not, and it's not, as they try and tell me, an anti-American thing. Right. To say, I respect the Second Amendment. Right. I respect the right, right of any family to defend themselves. I don't I'll respect the right of this family to load their Nobody's homes with these so that a disturbed kid can take them. And this debate is not as polarized as a gentleman's We are ending the debate for now, but this will continue next week. I can guarantee it. I'm going to end. All these attacks to come back. Come back next week when you've had time to think about this, because you have to change your thinking. The gun lobby has to change its Why thinking. Why do all these We're going to leave it there. Coming next. The guns are banned. Coming next. Survivors.